What's up, beautiful people? I hope life is treating you so well. I'm really excited about this episode because I want to talk about what it means to be creative. And is anyone actually creative anymore? Or is everyone just doing what everyone is doing? I think that this is a really interesting topic because I'm one who believes that every person on this earth is creative. I feel like we are all made in God's image. And that means that we are all here with a purpose and that purpose has to be executed. And in order to do that, we have to be creative in a way to be able to fulfill our life's purpose. So I believe that we are all creative. Now, I do feel like now there is a lack of creativity being used and a lack of originality because of the excess of content and ideas that we are exposed to where you might see something and it might be in your subconscious. Like you might not even realize you saw a banana split on a Dairy Queen commercial and then you're like, ooh, I want to try this banana with these, you know, with this ice cream and I want to put chocolate syrup and a cherry on top. And you might think, well, this is a great idea. This tastes amazing. Like I invented the banana split. And now it's just, it's really, it becomes like the lines just get really blurred on what's actually original. Were you inspired by this? Were you, are you plagiarizing? Did you guys just come up with the, happen to come up with the same idea completely clueless of each other. And I I feel like with being in a creative industry, it's just really hard to know. Like what is the difference between being creative or being inspired or do they need to be even mutually exclusive? You know, can you be inspired by something and create um and create based off of something you were inspired by. I, and, and when you do that, you have to give credit. My creative process first starts with knowing that my mental health has to be intact. And this portion of the pod vlog is sponsored by Audible. I am always feeling like I'm being pulled in a thousand different directions. I mean, let me tell you, I... As a content creator and an entrepreneur, I'm always thinking about, okay, what piece of content can I create next? What does my audience love? How does my brand come across? You know, do we need to re revamp some areas? And then from a business perspective, I'm like, you know, how are we going to maximize our streams of incomes? How can we add streams of income? What can a new offer be? How can we shift this? How can we hire that? Like, there are just so many things that can take a toll on your mental health. And listening to Audible titles really helps drive my creativity while also just helping me to be more self-aware. Now, Audible offers an incredible selection across every genre. And don't get me twisted, okay? I love a good novel, but I really, really, really enjoy listening to their self-help selection because I'm really big on reading things that fuel my mind and help me live a better life. So I'm currently listening to Set Boundaries, Find Peace by Nedra Glover Tawab. As somebody who is you know, more of an emotional thinker, my mind is always on, I think a lot that setting boundaries is such an important part of maintaining my mental health because it allows me to have space to breathe. It allows me to have room to be more creative, to not always be thinking about everyone else before I think about myself. And boundaries is just really a way to say yes to you and putting your needs as a priority, which I find a lot of times I don't do. So especially when I'm stepping away from the screen, this is a way that I'm able to know that in my day-to-day -day life, I'm prioritizing me. So I have always been somebody who gives, gives a lot of myself and I'm just learning how to set boundaries so I can fill my own cup and have enough to pour into my marriage, my business, my brand, my family, my home, like all of the other parts of me that make me happy and help drive my creativity. Boundaries is 
a huge part of growth and it's a part of understanding what you need as as a person and how you can help yourself by allowing other people to know how to treat you because it's really about having a level of self-respect so that you aren't being walked all over and you aren't feeling like you're exerting so much and you have little left to give. So highly recommend Audible um, and I highly recommend checking this one out on Audible. Thanks to my sponsor, Audible, and I will be sure to leave all the deets in the description box on how you can try Audible for yourself. Now, let's get into my creative process and just how I keep moving as a creative. I get asked all the time, how do you keep coming up with video ideas? How are you able to like keep all of these things moving? And it's not easy, but I think that this illustration will really help you. So this is probably the only thing that I still remember from physics. I literally hated physics. It was my least favorite science. I was more of like a biology kind of girl, but physics taught me one thing and it's that energy can't be lost or or created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred. I forget which law of motion that is, but I remember it. It's something like that. So don't quote me, but I do remember potential energy versus kinetic energy. Now stay with me here. Okay. Think of being creative as a roller coaster and the roller coaster. If you look at any roller coaster picture, I want you to go on Google and just type in roller coaster. If you look at a roller coaster picture, you will always notice that the first hill that you go up is always going to be the biggest hill. It is always going to be the highest hill that the roller coaster has. Even if the next hill is like a little bit shorter, it's never going to be taller than the first hill. So that first hill is where you gain all of your energy that is going to pretty much take you through the entire roller coaster. That energy while you're going up that first hill is called potential energy because that energy then gets transferred into kinetic energy. Kinetic means motion. So once you're at the top of the roller coaster, you're pretty much almost like at a standstill before it just flies down. And that is where you gain kinetic energy and you really gain all that momentum that's going to push you through the entire roller coaster. Now, this is really important for us to keep in mind as creatives because I feel like that energy, that potential energy is like all of that energy inside of us that is the ideas, the the creative the creativity that you have that you want to bring to life. And when you're at the top, you're like at the precipice of of, of something, of some sort of a breakthrough, and then you get in motion. And once you're in motion, once you stir up that creativity, once you start moving, it's real. like you can keep moving and you can move even faster so long that you don't stop the momentum. So if you are, you know, for me, like I'm going to paint a little picture. In January, I was creating so much content in this this January. I did 3 uploads on YouTube a week. I posted a whole bunch on Instagram like and I was like, "Oh my gosh, like I feel so good. I felt like I was in a state of flow." And that's because I had gained so much momentum that even though I was cranking out a freakish amount of content, it didn't feel like I was overexerting myself because I had gained so much momentum or kinetic energy. I had been prepping myself from December, like, okay, this is what January is going to be like. I was gaining all of this potential energy that then transferred and I could just go for it. And a lot of times we're in this stop and go as creators like we are stopping and going, we're thinking and we're, then we're trying to execute and it's not working how we want. So then we stop again. And the more you stop, the harder it is to go. So think of that roller coaster again. Like imagine if the roller coaster just stopped in the middle of the ride. It will take so much energy to get that back moving. So I, I like to think of my creative process as, you know, 
trying to get however that looks into a state of flow so that way I can keep going. And once you hit that stride, the stuff just comes to you. And it's just the same as like working out. Like once you start and you start seeing some results and then you start, you know, eating a little better, you start feeling a little better. Then you're like, oh my gosh, I could do two a days or I could go to the gym more times a week. Like I want to. It's not that I have to, it's that I want to. And you don't feel like it's taking this big toll on you. And I think once you find flow in one area of your life, it just trickles into other areas. So I hope that really encourages you because creativity, it is not a one size fits all. It's not a one way to do it versus the other. I could spew you all of these different ways that I can get more creative, like visualization or, you know, whatever. But it's going to be up to you to figure out how to get yourself to that point. But I want you to keep that roller coaster analogy in mind. All right. I love you. I hope this just helped you in some kind of way. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.